Egg Week TV Soy Insight, brought to you by the North Dakota Soybean Council. It's time for soybean growers to be on the lookout for soybean cyst nematode. The yield-stealing pest has been in North Dakota for about 20 years. But as Rose Dunn reports in this month's Soy Insight, there are many things growers can do to control it and stop the spread. Soybean cyst nematode is a tiny parasite that attaches to the roots of soybean plants. It stunts growth and steals yields. This is a major issue, especially in eastern North Dakota. NDSU soybean pathology specialist Wade Webster says there are several things you can do to control SCN. Use SCN resistant seed varieties or seeds treated with nematicide. Rotating to a non-SCN host crop like corn is a very important part of the program. Non-host cover crops can also help reduce SCN populations. We can see multiple case studies in which we are able to reduce the populations. The, the problem is though that SCN will never be eliminated from these fields, but they can be managed. Soil testing will show you when SCN levels have dropped enough to return to planting soybeans. Another important step is to clean and sanitize your equipment when you're moving it from an infected field to another field. SCN are hitchhikers that can even be carried on your boots. It's really hard to get rid of it once it is established in a field. That's why, you know, uh, prevent introduced to a new field, to a new area is so important. Guiping Yang is a nematologist at NDSU. She says the generally cooler wet summer has been better for controlling SCN along with growers' efforts. Get uh, uh, you know, close to the late growing season, we may see more, but by now it's not that. With two new soybean crush plants in North Dakota, demand for the crop is high, and Webster says that may also mean an increase in SCN. But he says they're working hard to reduce it and slow the spread to central and western North Dakota. In Fargo, this is Rose Dunn for Ag Week. It's important to test your soil for SCN every year at the end of the season. The North Dakota Soybean Council will cover the cost of soil testing. For more information about the free soil testing program, contact your county extension. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.